And this is the exact same, nothing, nothing has changed from then till now, it's... Okay, so I'm just like on the floor. Why am I on the floor? This looks terrible. Okay, I'm back. Let me hold everything up. It's enough that I can just hold it in my hands. Okay, I guess that doesn't look too puny now that I hold it up in person. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna be kind of going in order. As you guys can see... Okay, so I put them here on the floor. Does that look better? More aesthetic, sort of? So I'll kind of be going in order, talking about them. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll talk about them here. Okay, much better. Hey, this background actually looks really nice. Okay, so we're just gonna go in order of the bags. So I'm gonna be grabbing my first one, my little bucket bag. It has like a little strap here. This is my current staple. This is the one that's like in my main rotation. And I will show you guys what's inside. Literally like everything that I carry. It's like super basic, just masks cause you know, state of affairs. These are my house keys. I carry it in this little pouchy. Show you what my keys look like. It's very minimalistic. Literally my house keys and then my mom's house's keys for when I go home and visit. This is like a little magnetic thing for when I wanna stick it on the wall. And then I have a little leather pouch. That's that. And inside are just coins. Sorry, right, going back to it. And it has this really cute little clasp here in the front. Let me clasp it. Uh, it's normally not this hard to clasp it. It's, it's actually, it's magnetic. There we go. And it has this little handle. And it also has a strap. I love these like multifunctional type of things. And of course it's beige, like, come on now. <laughs> it's plastic, it's not leather. Most of my purses are leather except for this one. And guess how much this costs, guys? Like, I have gotten so many compliments on this bag when I, every time I go to like coach or just like walking around, people have come up to me, I, I swear, and asked me like what brand my bag is. You guys will be shocked to know this bag cost me $11 on sale from Miniso. <laughs> Maybe you guys can tell, but um, I mean, it's just, it just looks like a bucket bag. It just looks like a bucket bag. I'm, I'm glad to know it doesn't look like, you know, like a $10 bag. Let's move on to the next bag. So the next bag that I have is this beautiful coach with leather emboss. And I have only used it a couple times if you guys have seen on my Instagram. And inside I have the wristlet that goes with it that you guys saw that I would like take a lot of pictures. It just matches so beautifully. It's, it's actually, there's a funny story about this. So let me put that back in there. Originally I had seen the wristlet first, which I took a lot of pictures and I put on my Instagram. The wristlet is so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh. I used to have a coach wristlet, the classic brown one. And it was actually among one of the first things I ever decluttered when I first became a minimalist. You know, the things that I threw in the garbage, a coach wristlet was one of them. And it's just, Oh, when I think back to that story, I just get so angry with myself. Anyway, so this coach wristlet is super sentimental to me because it reminds me of who I was before I became a minimalist. So yeah, it's so beautiful. Like when you put your nails beside it and you do this, it's just like, oh, it's just such a luxe vibe. I'm here for it. You guys know that I love black and gold. So yes, it's got the classic coach emboss. Sorry, the logo. Recently, they've been doing like more reformat with like the large C and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I don't like it. I'm not here for it. I like the classic coach and I'm gonna stick by the classic coach. Although some of the new stuff kind of like this embossed with the monogram is really, really pretty. That didn't exist when I was younger. So I'm really here for that. So let me tell you a funny story about this one. So I had just only seen the wristlet and then I, I don't know why I went to the store the other day and then I saw I was gonna cop the camera bag in the regular beige colorway which is like the exact same color as this one and it's funny there was only a beige left there's all the other colors there's only one beige and I saw somebody had returned this this one's actually a little bit more used and knocked up than the other ones you can tell that from the leather strap here it has like a really big kink in it somebody had already kind of used it and returned it and it was the last one but other than that kink it's in really good condition and I was like oh I need to cop this. I need to have this in my life. So it's a camera bag. And the reason that I got a camera bag was actually upon Will's suggestion. So originally I was trying to get something a bit bigger than the bucket. The bucket is still kind of like a little bit on the smaller side, which I didn't like. I wanted something a bit bigger. And it's all really funny because it all started off with this. <laughs> so IE gifted me this as a graduation gift for graduating from dentistry. And this is really puny. You guys may not know this about me, but I have never owned small bags. I am not a small bag kind of person, which is weird because you think as a minimalist, I would be here for the small bag trend. I've mentioned this in some of my other videos. One of the trends that I hate is I hate the micro bag trend, the mini bag, the nano bag. It's 
unpractical in my opinion. So when she gifted me this, I was like, this is really puny. All of my stuff couldn't fit in here. So I started shopping around for a larger bag. So I caught this and this was still too big. So then I was like, okay. So I went to coach to get a bigger one. And then the camera, which is ironically even more puny than this thing. But when I saw the emboss, I was like, I'm here for it. And I was debating between getting this one or one of the larger, it's called the, the Marley the Marley top and I was also looking at the Lily which I might put some pictures here of those two and they were like double the price of this one I got this one on sale for 139 I know you're gonna say like oh it's the outlet it's not really that price yada yada I'm not here we're not here to discuss that okay so <laughs> just strictly speaking for the price that you could pay for it right I was like okay this is cheaper than those this was 139 and those were like 200 and like 280 and I was like uh, I don't know what to do. And then Will was like, why are you gonna pay more for a bigger bag that more or less just carries your junk? You really only need your wallet and you just need your phone. And I was like, oh my God, he's absolutely correct. I have been carrying around junk. And even this bag, sometimes when I carry it, it kind of like hurts a bit on my shoulder. Cause like, I don't know guys, I guess it's just a bad habit. I tend to carry around a lot of junk. Like I don't have everything that I have on my, well, that's weird. I don't actually even have everything. So here's my wallet. It would be like my wallet plus my phone, which I'm filming with, plus my keys and everything. Like, and it all just goes in here. It gets a little bit, there's some weight to it, you know? But anyway, so the camera bag, I ended up getting it because it's a lot smaller. It's really puny. It doesn't really hold anything. Like, let me take out the, and partly why I got the wristlet too, even though I have a wallet, which I'm really against, you know, having like overly like duplicates, but I was like, you don't even believe in the duplicate rule. You're allowed to have it. So anyway, so I was like, okay. It doesn't really fit much. I, I don't know if you can kind of tell, yeah and my wall well my camera's filming right now so i can't even put it in there but it just barely closes so it's very minimalistic it really had to make me think about this idea that i've been carrying around a lot of trash and it was like i don't know if it was trash but um it definitely made me think a little bit more it's been kind of a good experiment um i put on these straps you guys have seen these straps in some of my other videos where i used to have that herschel mini mini bag i i had gotten the strap here so this is actually really nice because one of the criticisms well whoops i unlatched it one of the things that i didn't like about the camera bag is the straps are attached and i can't like take off the strap and change the strap which i like to do which is something that is in like most coach bags you can like take off like the the, the like the bag so i was like ah this kind of sucks so i was like oh i'll just diy and add my own strap so i have the gold strap i'm not gonna stick it on right now because like it's too much work but yeah it pretty much looks like this and then you just put your hand in it and then what it looks like whoops when you wear it it's like literally just like this kind of bag and yeah that's pretty much it i like it a lot i'm really 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 happy with it because i really wanted the wristlet so having the bag that matches with it is very matchy matchy and i know it's very like fashion full pop but it just it makes me happy and i feel like honestly at the end of the day that's like good enough for me okay let's enough rambling about that let's get to the next purse okay so the next one i have is a gift as i mentioned this is also in the embossed leather in the I wonder what you would call that monogram the inside is a uh, red suede with the classic um, authentication code on the inside and really puny but really well made it has like the gold dog tag it's very typical this one being of a more cheaper material i guess not cheaper but more affordable it just has like the leather tag normally they're well it depends it really depends this one is gold and I'll show you guys that in my classic, my bag for traveling, this one is also leather. So I guess it really does depend. But anyway, so I'll just show you guys what that looks like. What I do like about this bag is that the straps can come off and I can like change up the straps and put like another one. You guys saw that this was actually my declutter and I was going to declutter it because and I tried to resell it, but the resale value for it was so low. It, it's like $300 and the resale value that they were offering me at Play-Doh's was 30 bucks brand new it had the tag and everything i was like i'm not gonna resell a gift that's 300 dollars for 30 bucks like new like you're absolutely crazy let me wear the bag for a bit then i'll come back when it's used and you can buy it for 30 dollars like i'm sorry like that's not how that works so i ended up keeping it and using it and i've actually gotten a lot of wear out of it it's really it's really well made just because i didn't like the color and to my surprise it actually matches me pretty well now that i'm like uh winter purple is apparently my color so i don't know what do you guys think does it look like it matches me you know actually on camera it actually does look like it matches me so yeah pretty happy about that all right so now we're gonna be talking about so this is my travel bag this is what i use when i travel it's it's open in the front i don't know what this is this is a very old model this is like 
I've had this for almost four years now. Oh, yeah, maybe like three going on four years. And this is very reminiscent of my Neverfull. That LV was a replica, which I tore up on camera, which you guys saw. But yeah, I'm really happy about this one. It has those like little straps that it's really classic of the Neverfull. So really like that. And let me take off. I stuffed the inside with some of my older bags. So I'm going to be showing you guys what's on the inside here what it looks like. It has like the double compartment. You guys have probably seen this bag in other videos. This is nothing new going on in this. It's the exact same. Nothing Nothing has changed from then till now. It's She's still the same. Other than traveling, that's the only time I ever get any use out of it because unfortunately, the, the width here is not wide enough for my laptop unfortunately, which is what I initially wanted to. It used to when I had a MacBook, when I had the 13, it fit the 13, but now that I have a 14 HP, it doesn't fit. And it's definitely not going to fit when I upgrade. I'm thinking of getting like a 15 or 16 inch. Definitely not gonna fit so that's okay though my fajal my fajal does that so it's all right all right next i'm going to be showing you guys the good old classic babies these are my canvas bags which i have actually gotten a lot of use out of if you follow me on instagram you guys have seen that this summer i wore to death these two bags this was really light and airy and really good for the summer i would just like throw on my keys and my makeup bag <laughs> that ysl makeup bag and i just carry this all the time this one i've been getting a little bit more use out of now like in the autumn months because it's kind of like a darker color it matched better with like my jackets and stuff so definitely been getting me that a lot more use nothing special they still the same uh, let's see what I have next Then I have this strap I just attached this because I thought it looked more like LV-ish and honestly the only thing that it pairs with right now is this thing because that's the only one that I can change the straps to everybody else is like fixed straps which I actually hate like my bucket bag it's a fixed strap I can't unfix that same thing with my camera bag fixed strap nothing I can do about that Okay, and then I'm just going to show you guys my old classic babies in beige. This is when I first started to transition into beige. I copped everything that I could in beige. I mean, I technically still do, but I'm a little bit more lenient, as you guys can see. Like, this was a gift from Will. It's like a, a brown color, but because I feel like it pairs well with beige. But when I first started, I was super religious. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this one. This is a leather long wallet that I copped in Taiwan. This is what the inside looks like. This was really good for when I was in China when I used a lot of like cash. It was just really easy to get the bills out, but I have found that like that's not really what I use. And then this is my fanny pack. I still have it. Oh, it's quite old now. I got this before the pandemic. So it's like three years now, like a year before the pandemic. So yeah, like it's like three years old now, which is good. It's in actually in really good condition. It's actually because of this bag that I realized that like nylon is actually a really good material for bags. They seem to hold their like their sturdiness, their wellness very well. So I actually highly recommend this and I actually understand now why a lot of minerals buy what's like Patagonia, like really rugged type of materials because they actually do last a lot longer and they look newer for longer than other materials. So I actually, I think I will be copying more of this like mountain equipment type of material. It's, it's pretty good. Well, one of the other things that I wanted to mention is that some subscribers might ask me um, what happened to the Prada bag. So the Prada bag, I actually ended up leaving behind at my mom's to, to let her use it. Um, I didn't take it with me to China. So my mom has gotten a lot of use out of it. And I just thought about it and I was like, am I really gonna take that away from my mom? Like I already have enough bags. And I was like, when I was moving, I was just like packing myself up and as I've mentioned bags is just they take up so much space and I was like I'm not gonna bring with me my Prada so I just left that behind at my mom's uh, and you guys have known I think I've mentioned it in videos that thing is heavy as hell I, uh, I don't really like carrying it <laughs> so I'm glad that I left it behind I feel like I have been recently decluttering quite aggressively if there's something that I missed out or if you're kind of wondering what happened to X and Y bag please comment it down below and I'll let you know what happened to it other than that this is currently everything that I have it's really small and I don't Nothing exciting. It's nothing that you guys haven't seen if you follow me on Instagram. This video has gone like super, super long and ranty, but I just want to just want to like share what is going on. Okay, I'm gonna make a thumbnail. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um. <laughs>